if we look at the moving it from a service oriented to a development oriented a private sector driven mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um i think it's 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 pretty obvious because we we have a situation where we are only going to competitions abroad that servicing competitions and all that and there's no development uh, initiatives across nearly all the sports the kids channels kids cup is a private initiative and it's and it's providing a structure they have the shell cup which takes care of secondary school and the universities we're going to work on that because you don't produce great talents from a two-year biannual competition the american university students active students at the last london olympics produced 44 gold medals, gold medals yeah. okay we know that 22 mm -hmm. gold 11 silver mm -hmm. 14 bronze university students uh, let me ask this question i mean, I mean i've checked the seven points and gender i didn't really say anything that has to do with school but maybe it will it's no, maybe the seventh, the seventh one. Seventh one is will actually have, will, on, will. is it come up with other considerations yes, which right. in the opinion of the committee will lead to the repositioning of Nigerian sports mm. for effective and enduring development. Now the question is, there is always this issue of curriculum and of course sports not in synergy in Nigerian universities. Are you guys also going to come up with something that we can have? Oh, definitely. Uh, in fact, that is uh, a major consideration and thankfully we have a very good a resource person in the team, uh, Bola Rodele, who is the uh, secretary, secretary of Luga, Luga games, a first-class yeah. graduate. I mean, he's I mean, he's, he's out he there. So we, stuff, yeah. he knows. I mean, he knows where we should go. He knows where the university should go. You know, the point we all understand is that the university, the age bracket in standard universities is between 18 and 25. Thank you, Mr. Richard. Now that is a prime age for maximum sports that's right okay mm. and we live losing a lot of that resource because they have a two a biennial game structure and instead of the sportsmen the top athletes the best 100 meters runner the best basketball guys the best uh, footballers becoming the heroes in our universities we have qualities pimps uh, party yeah. throwers etc as the heroes in the universities mm. so that has to change mm. and you know we have you see that's the beauty of a late comma you have models you have benchmark, uh, benchmarks you have case studies mm. uh, if the american university system produced that much gold medal how did they do it no my, the question i'm actually trying to ask is our system rather our university the way our university is actually built it's not structure around sports. I mean, I remember in my school, they, in my university days and all that, some girls were actually in my school playing volleyball. Whenever they have a competition, they cannot go because you have lectures. I mean, you have exams and all. So it's structured in a way that they don't even put the sport into consideration. If you go, I mean, you come back and you have carryovers and you might even stay extra two years because you are busy in sport. But in American University, you talked about, they have that time frame. If you're not, if you're not even an A student, you definitely not even, uh, I mean, in basketball, for instance, they look at their, their percentage. I mean, what you have, their GPA, that your GPA and all that, that's what will even get you a sport into the school team to start with. But we don't have that in Nigerian sports. Yeah, that's something the committee would do to ensure we bring in something like that, that you, because you're making comparison with the American university yeah. system. Without preempting what the committee is going to do, let's, we, well, let's, um, we can say that sports has to be structured in such a way that it can uh, synergize, it can, it can gel with the academic system. Okay. Um, a few people on the committee have uh, children who benefited from the American sports system, sports system uh, the, okay. uni the, the, the collegiate system, system got mm -hmm. scholarships and all that, uh, but I Williams in swimming and all that. Okay. Now, the, it's structured in such a way that, I mean, it does not overly affect, affect the academic yes. program. Most of it is at weekends. They travel mm. Friday, play Saturday, Sunday, and then they come yeah, back, back to overnight. Now, uh, again, without preempting what the committee is going to do, it's also possible to do that in Nigeria because- and How can we uh, achieve but that? that? No, if you, have, if you have zones, if you divide universities into zones and all that, and they can go f from one place to the other and return, let's say you have a Southwest zone and you have a football, University League that 
operates during the weekend. The players travel on Friday night or whatever. They, they rest, they play Saturday evening, they come back Sunday. Okay, and, and there's a lot of potential in there for marketing, for business, for sponsorship. Mm -hmm. There's so much money out there that I think we, they begin, we're beginning to look a bit myopic about, um, about, about what sports, the sports industry is all about. And that's because I think, I mean, this, this was raised by the sports editors yesterday, because uh, most of those who are coming into sports have been tied for too long on the apron strings of government. Most of them are coming as commissioners, mm -hmm. uh, directors of sports, That's into right. federations mm -hmm. and all that. So they've been hung up too long on the apron strings of government. And we, we have a cash, cr um, cash crunch. Uh, we have a change agenda. And it will come a time, as the resource person said, when there will be no budget for sports. Mm -hmm. But as the private sector will tell you, and as he told us that day, there are billions of dollars, I'm uh, sorry, dollars, he said dollars, mm -hmm. there are billions of Naira out there if we have business savvy right. people who can package and reposition sports yes. to appeal to the private sector mm -hmm. and get stakeholders to, which is one of our, That's right. uh, our uh, uh, one of their TORs, yeah. that stakeholders to, to come in and have a say. So it becomes a, a party for everybody, parents, I mean, teachers, volunteers, and all that. And, yeah, and then we have a sports okay. industry. So we, we're going to be high on the details. How do we achieve this? Because we all know what the problems are. Uh, what, oh, grassroots. How do we ensure that everybody, volunteer coaches and all that, can benefit? So we need to incentivize these various stages of development because okay. the business mind can only be interested if you can see that's right yeah. okay. and i know you, you i'm sure you understand <laughs> i say a lot of work yeah, this before, yeah, before we go quickly okay. i mean uh, a lot of commentators say uh, the sports policy in nigeria is not really it's, it's not um non-existent really have you seen it and why is it not working uh, this is the same thing we're saying is there i something mean really the, on paper um th there are Many, many things on paper. <laughs> many, many things <laughs> on <not> paper. <laughs> but now we, we haven't tied up, tidied up the final okay. third. It's right. like passing the ball around the, okay. the, the back side, I mean, your goal area and the, and the middle of the well, field. Really and, but but you're, not doing, you're not tidying up the, the <laughs> final the third. Okay. You know? So um, that is where we hope that we can make that difference. And, and we have a team of, I mean, great guys who are ready to work um, so hard to make sure that we can we can pin it down. Yeah. Okay. You know what we'll do? We'll, we'll let you do your yeah. work. Yeah. Yes. Uh, we know at this stage you're still going through a lot of uh, brainstorming, generating ideas. We've, we've looked at the seven points in general. There's so much to be done, particularly yeah. with funding and making sure we get the right persons to lead our federations. Thanks so much, Mr. Chairman. We'll bring you back again yeah. when we leave the level of talk into action. Action, exactly. Thank you so yeah, much for coming around. It will be a pleasure. Yeah, we we'll we'll appreciate pleasure. your presence. Yeah, so that's it. it. Uh, Mr. Godwin Kenka is the chairman of uh, the committee set up by the Ministry of Sports to restructure and redefine sports okay. in Nigeria. Yes. Okay.